Fighting fires poses more than just a physical threat to crews on the front lines. The amount of trauma and devastation they witness can also take a toll on their mental health. Colaway News Now's Emily Benito joins us live. And Emily, you spoke with the president of the Nevada Peer Support Network. The president for the Nevada Peer Support Network for our first responders says that not only are these fires extremely physically taxing, but mentally taxing as well. And that one of the biggest challenges that our firefighters face, especially when dealing with a fire that is still burning like the Davis fire, is the mental toll that it takes on them and their families. Once you go, uh, you're on that incident until you either are replaced uh, or you gain control of the problem. Battalion Chief at Truckee Meadows Fire Derek Reed says wildland fires often demand long days with little time for rest. Our jobs is to try to protect life and property and when it grows that fast it becomes overwhelming because you're trying to not only address the threat but also think ahead you know an hour ahead six hours a day. It also means digging in and preparing for hours of physical and mental strain. Our firefighters fight. They do not flight unless absolutely necessary. And as far as fawn and submit, they do not. But using your fight or flight system can take a toll. The pathetic nervous system is there for our survival. It, it, it increases our sense of alertness and our stress, which is a good thing to a certain point. But your sympathetic nervous system has an expiration date. It only can be take on so much before it becomes ineffective. And it doesn't just affect those on the front lines, but also those at home. My task force in particular, I know that there was a anniversary delayed. There were plane tickets that were canceled. Uh, and there were plans with the most important people, uh, which is your family, your spouses, your kids, just straight up canceled. And that causes a lot of stress, not only for the firefighter, but also their families. Neil says he advises crews to take time to wind down during times of stress. If you're on the fire line and you're engaged, if you can find a moment of rest, uh, that might be laying in the dirt and using your fire line pack as a pillow. Uh, it could be having a conversation. We use humor to try to deregulate our nervous system and, and laugh. And, and to think about the places and people who bring them joy and comfort. The best thing to do is to think about what's your favorite place to be. Who are your people? You know, who's your favorite person to be around? That could be your kids, that can be your spouse, um, that could be a good friend. Contributions can be made to both the Nevada Peer Support Network and other firefighter benevolent funds to help our first responders not only get the funds not only be able to fight the fires, but also get the funds they need to keep up their mental capacity so that they can keep serving our community. Live in South Reno at the Truckee Meadows Fire and Rescue 33rd Station, Emily Benito for Colwaite News Now. Back to you guys in the studio.